This is the oncoming storm, and we're going to take a look at Clan Fulger. The truth is, they're very good. Right out of the blocks, they are. I never see them show up as prisoners. I hardly ever see them show up in expedition. You're, you're going to have to intentionally hunt the Fulgers to have them. They're either going to show up whenever you build their companion, or they're going to show up whenever you get them out of a summoning event. I would say they're very good. And in the right composition, they can be very, very strong. And people were right to say early on that they may be S tier. They're definitely between A and B tier. Uh, her fixes have helped. And if you're going pure AOE for your group, Fulger, Fulger definitely can fit. They're a basic class champion, which means you can get their companion right out of Dungeon Descent. So being able to build up their companion between events and everything else should be fairly easy for you. All of that being said, let's take a look at the female Fulger. She launches a ball of lightning forward, which deals da damage equal to a percentage of the caster's strength to all enemies along its path. This is reminiscent of the female Ignis first ability, passive ability, and of the male Trevain ability. It just picks a direction, there's a tunnel line, and it hits everything that's in the line. It seems to be working much faster. It used to seem to wait to push out damage until after the animation had passed. Now it seems to be much more effective. I definitely think this is a strong ability. All skills can inflict electrified for 10 seconds. That gives all teammates an increased critical rate against enemies that have been electrified. The percentage is not particularly high. And summon storm. She summons a storm above the battlefield for three seconds. Every two seconds, the storm strikes three random enemies with lightning dealing damage equal to a percentage of the caster's strength, and briefly inflicting stun. What is briefly? We don't know. It does not appear to be a substantial amount of time. <laughs> However, I will say this. The Fulgers' stuns, when they strike, can prevent ultimates. I've seen that happen. The male Fulger. He summons a lightning shield as his ability that's going to last for 10 seconds and it blocks a single enemy's skill damage. That's any skill, including an ultimate. Also increases the caster's attack speed by 20% and the caster's normal attacks deal a huge additional damage to the target and to two nearby enemies. Splash damage is good. It's just good. He and her both have forms of splash damage, which are good. What I think might put him a little bit over the top is this. Mark of Lightning. It inflicts a stack of Mark of Lightning to targets hit by the skill. When three stacks are inflicted, deals damage equal to a percentage of the caster's strength and inflicts stunned. This stun looks like, it looks like, it lasts between one and two seconds. I can't be sure 
because it's very hard to, to do this, but it definitely seems to be a little longer. And then he has Wrath of Thunder, which is almost identical to her storm. It summons lightning. It deals damage equal to a percentage of the caster's strength to all enemies. You want to know why he comes out ahead? It's right here. And then it goes further, dealing additional damage based on the target's current health. The male vulgar is your finisher. He can be a finisher. He's not sitting there stopping them from doing something. He is killing them. An assassination skill. Something that says, oh, you've got less health? I'm going to do more damage to you. It's what some people thought was so very exciting about a few other characters. But the male Fulger, he's hitting for an AoE. He's hitting everything on the board. Everything on the board. And then he's doing extra damage based on their health. That's... Sorry, but that trumps hitting three random enemies. Period. Doesn't matter what we're looking at. He is stronger with his storm than hers. It's called Wrath of Thunder. So, he speeds up his attack. He creates splash damage. He has a stun that's actually not part of his ultimate. And that also hurts. It's not, hey, I stunned you and nothing else happened. It's a hard-hitting stun. And then he turns around and holds them down with damage. Why do we stand with Fulger? Because quite honestly, he is by far stronger than she is. In the right composition, he's practically godly. Ha ha ha. Yes, I know they're a demigod class. Potentially S tier with the right group. Quite definitively A tier. But you're not going to just happen across him while you're playing through. You have to choose to want them, unless you're spending a lot of time at the Summoning Stone. And if you're following my other conversations, watching my other videos, you know that I feel the Summoning Statue should only ever be touched during an event where you want that new clan to be added to your crew. So, you might be waiting two to three weeks before you're able to get access to them. Unless, of course, you intentionally build their companion from your events. And Dungeon Descent has definitely made it possible for you to do exactly that. Pick your champions, build their companions, and do it very quickly. Male Fulger, very strong. Female Fulger, not as strong, but still very strong. Both are playable. Some people will even argue that she is stronger than he is. I disagree, but this is more a matter of opinion than hard fact. They're worth the time. Build them. This has been the Oncoming Storm.